to Miss Mojo, where today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 grand gestures in romantic movies. You're my best friend, Sam. And wherever I have to be so that I can fall asleep with you in my arms and wake up looking in your eyes, that's where I'm gonna be. He's looking at you, kid. For this list, we're looking at all those heart-stopping moments, music swelling, jaw-dropping moments, where the characters we love went out of their way to profess their love. If we miss one of your favorite romantic deeds, let us know in the comments below. Number 10, The Fire Escape, Pretty Woman. Here's to women rescuing men right back. In 1990's Pretty Woman, the wealthy Edward hires sex worker Vivian to pretend to be his girlfriend for the week while he tries to land a business deal. You're late. You're stunning. Of course, as these things want to go, the two fall in love. But despite her love for him, Vivian won't be anyone's girl on the side. She leaves Edward and it appears that he's about to leave Los Angeles, but then he turns that car around. He shows up at Vivian's apartment building with flowers and scales up her fire escape despite his fear of heights. Had to be the top floor, right? It's the best! All right, I'm coming up. It's the perfect metaphorical version of a fairy tale for this charming rom-com. So what happened after he climbed up the tower and rescued her? She rescues him right back. Number nine, nothing more important. The thing about Harry. Uh, someone in this very crowd once told me that when you, when you make a mess of things, you gotta fix them. A public event is a ripe setting for a grand romantic gesture. And the thing about Harry certainly takes advantage of that. Our love interests, Harry and Sam, spend the majority of this movie dancing around each other, insulting each other's significant others, trying their hand at dating apps, and so much more. You were right about everything. I have to take responsibility for what I did and for what I want. What I did was mess up. But of course, it just takes one romantic speech to make all the rest of the chaos go away. Sam, upset after learning that Harry will be moving, ignores him at all costs. Harry takes things into his own hands and jumps on stage at the political rally Sam is working at to profess his love. After all, there will be other jobs, but there's only one Sam. I'm not going anywhere because I love you. And you can trust me on that. Number eight, slipping past airport security. Love actually. You can't come through without a boarding pass. Not even to let the boy say goodbye to the love of his life. No. Is it possible that Love Actually hasn't aged that well after all these years? In places, yes. Is it also possible that the scene where Sam runs after Joanna in the airport is still far and away the most romantic part of the movie? Definitely yes. Do you want a bigger room for it? I under that as well. You think I should? Yeah. Christmas classic, Sam has had a crush on Joanna for ages, but has always been too afraid to tell her. Unfortunately for him, Joanna is set to go back to America after the school's Christmas concert. But if we've learned anything from the movies, there's nothing more romantic than a good old-fashioned run through the airport. Sam makes it all the way to the gate and Joanna gives him a sweet kiss on the cheek. It's adorable. Number seven, Airplane Proposal, The Wedding Singer. I fell in love with this girl, and she's gonna marry an idiot, so I'm on my way to Vegas to stop them. This one's a sing-along, folks. The Wedding Singer, like many Adam Sandler productions, is filled with a lot of laughs, so you might be surprised at how genuinely sweet this romantic gesture is. After a misunderstanding between her and Robbie, played by Sandler, Julia, played by Drew Barrymore, elopes to Vegas with the philandering Glenn. Robbie goes after her, and upon realizing they're on the same plane, hatches a plan to get her back. Oh my god, the mile high guy is Glenn. They're on this plane. No way! Enlisting the flight's passengers, including Billy Idol, he surprises Julia not only with his presence, but also with a very sweet song. I wanna make you smile whenever you're sad. Carry you around when your arthritis is bad. We hope these two get to grow old together. I could be the man 
grows old with you. Number six, helping Ilza escape, Casablanca. Sacrificing your own feelings for the greater happiness of the person you love may be the most romantic thing you can do. And Humphrey Bogart certainly did it best in 1942's Casablanca. Set during World War II, the story follows Bogart's Rick, a nightclub owner in the titular city, who meets back up with his former love, Ilza, played luminously by Ingrid Bergman. Ilza, I'm no good at being noble, but it doesn't take much to see that the problems of three little people don't amount to a hill of beans in this crazy world. Ilza is married to someone else, but there's still history and love between her and Rick. When Ilza's husband is in trouble, Rick helps him escape and asks Ilza to leave too, despite loving her. He knows she would regret it if she stayed. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon and for the rest of your life. Number five, Lydia's dowry, Pride and Prejudice. Mr. Darcy, stop it, is he? Mr. Darcy's not half as high mighty as he is sometimes. Pride and Prejudice and Jane Austen stories in general are ripe for romance. Mr. Darcy's rain-soaked proposal certainly crossed our minds for this entry, but we had to go with the moment he helped Elizabeth by helping her sister, Lydia. Ever impulsive, Lydia runs off with the dubious Mr. Wickham, inviting all sorts of scandal on the Bennet family. However, when the two return married, it leaves one to wonder how on earth they paid for the ceremony. A oh man in his senses would marry Lydia under so slight a temptation as a hundred a year. Your uncle must have been very generous. Elizabeth learns that despite his hatred for Mr. Wickham and his all-around dour nature, Mr. Darcy paid for the wedding to save the Bennetts' reputation, putting Elizabeth's family before himself. Mr. Darcy was at your wedding. He was the one that discovered us. He paid for the wedding, Wickham's commission, everything. Number four, nobody puts baby in a corner. Dirty dancing. We've been waiting for so long, but we finally made our way to the Dirty Dancing entry. This one is simple, but sometimes all you need is someone to stand up for you. Up at a Catskills resort, Johnny has been teaching Baby how to dance all summer, and the two have grown closer and fallen in love. <laughs> But when Baby's dad finds out about their relationship, he is less than pleased. However, this doesn't phase Johnny. During the celebration on the final night of the summer, Johnny walks right up to Baby's table and utters that famous line. Nobody puts Baby in a corner. It's short and sweet, and the ensuing dance is nothing short of magical. Number three, crashing the wedding, the graduates. Alan, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's six blocks up and uh, three over. The graduate has some complicated sexual politics, to say the least. After having an affair with his girlfriend's mother, Ben reluctantly reveals the truth of infidelity to his girlfriend, Elaine. Understandably, Elaine is a tad upset at this revelation and leaves him. Get out! Get out! Out! Get out! The two end up rekindling their romance, but Elaine's father isn't as over the situation as everyone else seems to be. He tries to force Elaine to marry someone else, and he almost gets away with it. But even a broken down car can't stop Ben. He runs to the wedding and gets there just as it ends, screaming Elaine's name. <laughs> While we're not sure how it ends up for these kids, you can't deny it was some gesture. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Number two, I love you, baby. Ten things I hate about you. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. Ah, yes, the dance sequence which made Heath Ledger a certified heartthrob. In this delightful 90s rom-com, high schooler Cameron wants to date Bianca, but she isn't allowed to date anyone until her older sister, Kat, does. Old rule out. New rule. Bianca can date. When she does. Cameron decides to hire bad boy Patrick Verona to date Kat, but famously does not date. 
Patrick slowly tries to get into Cat's good graces, culminating with a humongous cheesy musical number in front of the whole school. I love you, baby, and if it's quite alright, I need you, baby, you on the lonely night, I love you, baby. As Patrick struts and dances around to Frankie Valley's Can't Take My Eyes Off of You, Cat can't help but smile, and neither can we. Let me love you, baby. Unveil our top pick, here are a few honourable mentions. Balcony Scene, Romeo and Juliet. It's a classic for a reason. Oh, Romeo. Where for art thou, Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Or if thou wilt not, be but sworn my love and I'll no longer be a Capulet. Wedding speech, love Rosie. Romantic gesture, a bit too late. I'll always stand guard over your dreams, Alex. No matter how weird or twisted they get. Private performance, the best man holiday. Get yourself a man who choreographs. Oh, okay. Hey. All right now. Oh, <laughs> you complete me, Jerry Maguire. And you had me at hello. You? Me. I'm just. Had... Shut up. Just shut up. You had me at hello. Get off the train before sunrise. A leap of faith. So listen, here's the deal. This is what we should do. You should get off the train with me here in Vienna and come check out the town. What? Come on, it'll be fun. Come on. <laughs> what would we do? Um, I don't know. All I know is I have to catch an Austrian Airlines flight tomorrow morning at 9.30 and I don't really have enough money for a hotel, so I was just going to walk around and it'd be a lot more fun if you came with me. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, the boombox. Say anything. Even if you don't know the movie, you know the scene. At the urging of her father, Diane breaks up with her boyfriend Lloyd to focus on her studies. In one last act of desperation, Lloyd professes his love to Diane the only way he knows how, via Peter Gabriel. All my instincts, they return. The grand facade, It's an iconic image. John Cusack standing in the morning light in a giant coat, boombox held high overhead, in your eyes blasting over the speakers. Would it be slightly creepy in the real world? Maybe, but this is a movie, and in the moment, it's quite a gesture. In your eyes, the light, the heat. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.